Okay, so I'm back with a cleaned up version of the plan. And what I've done is I've taken most of the dimensions or the measurements and I've put them on the outside of the plan. But I did wanna just show you that the we have the overall dimensions of the inside of the room, which those are the first things we, we measured, the 16 feet for the length and 10 feet for the width. And what I've also added are all of the other dimensions that we're going to need to take our plan and draw it to scale. And when we draw it to scale, we're gonna be using our one half inch equals one foot scale. And we'll also need a pencil and an eraser. And if you have something that you can draw um, a right angle against, that would be very helpful as well. Uh, I have, I've been using this ruler and I can make a right angle um, using this edge, but if you have anything else, um, it could be anything. It could be uh, maybe even a pencil case or a piece of thick cardboard that you know has a right angle, then that can be very, very helpful. Before we really get started, it might be helpful for us to take our one half inch scale and add measurements that are every half of a foot. So we can do half of a foot, one and one half of a foot, two and one half of a foot. And in order to do that, I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to line it up and then I can mark every half foot in our scale feet. So I'm going to do just a few of these and then um, I'm going to uh, draw some lines. And in order to show that they're the half feet, I'm not going to draw them as long. Okay, so we're about ready to draw that first rectangle, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to find the center of, of my paper. And on this width of the paper, uh, the paper itself is nine inches wide and it's 12 inches long. So uh, what I was able to do is to cut each um, side in half, so nine, divided into two pieces is four and a half inches plus four and a half inches, and then 12 inches divided into two pieces is six and six. So I made those measurements, and then what I did was I connected them so that this is the very, very center of my paper. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my scale, and I know that the width of my room is 10 feet, so I'm going to put five feet on one side and five feet on the other. So I'm gonna place the, um, my half inch scale ruler so that five feet is right in the middle. And then I'm going to mark at zero and then I will mark at 10. Now I'm gonna do that a little bit further up and then so zero and 10, and then I'm gonna do it down here as well. So again, here's my middle line. There's five, I'm gonna to go to zero, and I'm going to go to 10. Now what I can do is I can draw lines here to connect very lightly. And what I'm, so now I know my, the width of, of the space. And I'm going to do the same idea, but this time uh, we're going to try to find the length. Now we know that it was 16 feet and it's a little bit longer than my scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do it in two parts. I'm going to start with the top portion. So I'm gonna put the eight feet mark at the middle and I'm gonna go all the way up to zero. I'm gonna do that two more times. I'm gonna do it here. And then I'm gonna do it on, the, remember wall one, 
wall number one. And now I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna do the same thing, but just go in this direction. So I'm gonna start at the eight at the middle and go all the way to zero. And I'll do it in the middle. And then I'm gonna do it one more time. Go from eight all the way down to zero. And so now I have marked off my um, 10 by 16 foot area. Okay, so the area is the space that's contained within the walls. And now I'm just connecting those dots. And in the case of this particular drawing, all of the walls will be uh, drawn to the outside as well as the openings. So we're about to take the information on our sketch and draw it at one half inch scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the corner and work my way along wall number one. Now the scale itself is something that we measure with, but we usually don't draw with our scale. We just use it to mark off points. And that's why it's good to have some sort of ruler that we can use, um, and that will be very, very helpful. And it's a little bit more reliable since this scale is so thin and flimsy. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to get to the corner, and if we look at our sketch, we notice that from the corner to the opening of the doorway is six inches or one half of a foot. So I'm gonna put my zero mark at the corner and I'm going to mark a half a foot there. And then I'm going to pick up my scale and I'm going to show, or I'm going to measure the three foot opening. So I'm gonna to go to that mark and I'm going to measure one, two, three feet and leave a mark there. Now, what I can do is I can erase because this is the opening in the, whole, in the wall. And then if I want to, I could just maybe darken this line a little bit. Now, we're going to measure from the opening to um, the left side of the window and we determined that that is nine feet. So I'm going to put the zero mark um, on this little mark and I'm gonna go all the way up to here and then we notice that the window is three feet wide. So I can also mark that off, three feet. And then I have about a half of a foot left. So I'm going to erase where the window is. And then remember that the window is sort of a little rectangle, the symbol. So going to just build that out like that. And then I'm going to draw the two edges of it. Okay, so we are about to begin drawing along wall number two. And because there are no openings, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna darken this line and we will be adding the thickness of the wall once we have all of the openings marked. So now we're gonna move along to wall number three, and we notice that there are four, there's a length of four feet from the corner to the opening for the doorway. So again, I'm gonna bring my uh, scale to the corner and start at zero and measure down four. Now, instead of picking up the scale this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add. So four feet plus three feet is going to bring us to the other end of the doorway opening. So one, two, three, four plus three, five, six, seven. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna remove the line here to create the opening for the first door. And now what I'm going to do is, so my door is three feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, draw it this way. Whoops, I should mark it, right? And use my ruler 
And then what I'm going to do is draw those dotted lines to show the swing of the door. All right, now from this opening to the next opening, we have five and a half feet. So we're gonna start here at zero. One, two, three, four, five and a half feet. And then our doorway is three feet. So let's just add five feet plus, five and a half feet plus three feet should be eight and a half feet. So that should bring us to right about here. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the line so we can go through the wall. And again, my door is three feet wide. I'm going to draw it into the office. And I'm gonna draw the dotted lines again. And then we have just about a half a foot left, which we see right there. So we have now added all of the openings. What we could do is we could say that all of the walls surrounding the room are six inches thick. So that means that what I can do is I can go from every corner and just measure out six inches, right? From zero to a, a half foot is six inches. I'm gonna do that here. I'm also going to do it here. I can do it somewhere along here and up at the top here. I'm also gonna do it here from zero to a half foot zero to a half foot, and again, zero to a half foot, zero to a half foot, and zero to a half foot. It's good to make a number of these marks just in case you might have uh, messed up one of them. If one seems like it's a little too far in or out, then it sort of helps you to check to make sure that you've done it right. Um, so let's start with wall one. We're going to go, I wanna line up all these lines here, one, two, and three. And I'm just gonna draw a light line here. Now there's my window. And then I have this long bit of wall. And then I have my opening there. And then I have my corner. And I'm gonna go up on the corner on, the, on this side too, over by wall number two. And now what I can do is I can go across and I can mark my opening. And I might wanna just maybe change the window a little bit. Maybe I'll bring this line out and I can erase that middle one. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to go around and I'm gonna to continue to make the thickness of the wall. Now I come along here and I'm gonna connect these lines, one, two, and three, I'm sorry, dots. And I'm gonna to go to the door there, the door here, and then the corner, okay? And then I can make this solid, the edge, make this solid. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do wall number four. So the last thing I might do is I might shade in. And one way that I do this, just to kind of do it quickly, is I just kind of drag the pencil along and I can use the edge of my ruler. And if I need to, I might be able to go back and fill in a little bit too. So that's one way to do it. Um, you can go and kind of color in if you want to. But again, we want to, be, we want to remind the people that are looking at this drawing that the walls are thick. And so we have a plan that is to scale. 